I'm going to uh, redo um, the drink that I did last week. Last week I got sick, and it made me feel really sick, really, really bad. Uh, I was dry heaving and, and stuff, and I don't know. I didn't throw up. Honestly, sometimes I think I have a stomach of steel. Um, I was one of the first times, <laughs> it's probably the only time in my life I was okay with throwing up. Because... <laughs> I don't enjoy throwing up <laughs> unless I have to. But in retrospect, uh, what happened was I um, I drank that too quickly. I had this whole thing, which I'm going to wash clearly, but I had this whole thing filled to probably about right there. All carrot, beet, and apples. Also, I added two beets. Now, I didn't know this. Beets are extremely high in carbohydrates, which, of course, I don't care. Um, when you exercise and stuff like I do, when you're active like I am, uh, carbohydrates are actually a really good thing. But um, I didn't know that they were that <laughs> dense full. So I, I have this humongous beet. I'll show you, actually. There's this humongous beat here that I'm going to take my time with this sucker. But you know, I think I will do this different. I'm going to use this thing. Look at that thing. There's one big beat. So, before I actually looked in my food dictionary, basically, or encyclopedia, food remedy source book, um, page. yeah, 259, here it is. So, <clears throat> as it says, uh, oh, it actually distinguishes between beetroot and green. Contain, the beet root greens contain nitrates, help the body produce nitric uh, nitric, uh, nitric oxide, which is basically the same as potassium. You okay? And a monkey? Here. Well, in any case, so I'm going to juice with the greens today, too. You know, it's funny because it always comes out like brown and nasty looking. Have to be even more. Ah, so it is true. I always thought it was a myth. The greens of beets are packed with even more health boosting nutrients than the beetroot. They're low in cholesterol, loaded with free radicals, zapping antioxidants. That's great. Uh, makes them one of the healthiest greens. Just one ounce of beet green contain. An excess of your recommended daily value of vitamin K. Walgreens provide about 140. I hope vitamin K excess isn't bad because I have a lot of that. Vitamin K helps uh, blood to clot properly and promotes bone strength. Well, then that's awesome. So I have really clottable blood <laughs> and strong bones. Um, <clears throat> so that's ironic. I was trying for two fi two fifty nine, and I flipped right to beetroot greens. Anti-inflammatory, strongly anti-inflammatory. So that's why my joints still feel good, even though I um. Here, let me get to the thing here. It looks really interesting. Okay. So, here's the info. I need to pause. <clears throat> High in calories. Uh, health benefits are enormous. Rich in vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Also, uh, high quality carbohydrates. So those with diabetes need to be wary of their intake. And I think that's one of the major weaknesses of this whole movement of juicing. 
um, or going to raw foods is that specifically raw food vegans, I understand that they have religious beliefs. Hey, monkey. What are you doing? Oh, you can't reach him. I'm sorry, Sam. There you go. Um, I understand that the raw food vegans, a lot of them have religious beliefs, and they say that raw foods can heal pretty much anybody or anything and all that stuff. Um, I think they're right in a lot of ways as far as the science goes. Of course, I don't believe what they believe. Um, at least I don't think. Well, it's actually very esoteric. It's kind of really interesting. I need to research a bit more. But... Um, but anyway, like Dan McDonald, for instance, and there are a few others that I've, I've uh, read some of their articles and listened to. It's funny, the in-between, the conversations is what I'm interested in, because that's when you find the, the almost uh, parenthetical script, if you will, is really where you find out a lot about people. So that's what I pay attention to. Um, <clears throat> in any case, getting back to what I think one of the weaknesses is this. If you're diabetic, or if you have, and I know this too, because I talked to a gentleman that um, he had to stop juicing because the, the sugars and the juice would basically shoot through his liver. And his body can't handle that. So he had to be very careful about that. Um, so he had to go to smoothies, which again, um, I think smoothies are more, um, just better for you. I think they're, they're a lot better than juicing. Because I agree with that medical doctor I saw. I'm getting rid of this. Aren't you real above? It ain't worth it to milk something that's freaking dirty. So I have money to buy something that's best. Um, well, so anyway. Uh, well, that's a bummer. I'm going hand washing day today. So anyway, um, I, I think it goes... Without saying, well, actually, really, it doesn't because so, so few people. Here's what I'm doing, by the way. Uh, I'm taking a half a beet that I have from before. Since we know that the beetroot greens are super healthy, I'm going to mix these suckers and I'm going to keep my big old boy here for later. <laughs> so, um, anyway, critical thought is very important. So there are a lot of fads. Quite honestly, juicing is one. But like I mentioned in another video, um, you know, the juice juicing is nothing. Nutrition is everything. So and my ultimate goal is health. Uh, like I said, a lot of people's ultimate goal is just to look good. Uh, my goal, part of health for me, is feeling good. So if I'm doing something, I don't, <laughs> I don't feel good then uh, I stopped doing it because there is short-term or immediate and long-term, let's just say, consequences to consuming things. Uh, personally, I think all, it should all be happening. Getting back to the thing, though. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so just because someone calls themselves a food expert doesn't mean they're telling you the truth. It's like I tell my students um, when we learn rhetoric. Ethos, credibility or character, um, or pathos, which is Greek word for suffering, but we use it as emotion, uh, isn't, doesn't determine logo, which is logic or reason, fact. So it's the same thing. Um, a lot of people see a lot of benefits to juicing, and there are benefits, uh, or to making smoothies, for instance, or switching to raw foods, period. And there are a lot of benefits. Well, then it does this kind of, um, <clears throat> almost a snowball effect. Uh, I would call it, um, hasty generalization, probably, would be the technical term. Hey, what are you doing, son? Yeah, you're out of puff. Your old daddy start juicing, I'm talking. Uh, but in any case, just because one thing is true, 
doesn't mean, and, and actually it's almost like a, an optimistic poisoning of the well reasoning. Just because one thing is true doesn't mean all of it is. So, um, just take the raw food veganism and all this stuff and, oh, these raw foods can heal you. If you're diabetic or something, maybe not. Maybe it's like the worst thing for you to, and, and you are getting a concentrated dosage. So be very, very careful and research this stuff. Get that food remedies of illustrated source book, I think is excellent because it lets you know. Like I said, raw foods are excellent for you. But if you're diabetic, you gotta watch out. So that's good. Um, if you're talking to a religious fanatic who believes in Gaia and uh, no matter what Gaia says, it's, it's all good, which I don't know. I, I'm just, <laughs> that's kind of the gist I've gotten. Um, then you just, you have to take what they say because I'll give you an example. I like Dan McDonald a whole lot, but he put out a video a while back that he had gone to a fruit festival and he, um, he almost died. He was on an orange juice fast, which don't get me started on fasting. I think that fasting is totally unnatural. I know there are scientifically proven benefits to it. Um, and there are even holistically endorsed benefits to fasting. Um, the, the common argument is ancient cultures did it. Yeah, well, ancient car cultures also starved a lot. Uh, frankly, I, although I'd love to have a time machine and travel and visit these people, I love living where I am. I love having the luxuries that I have. I love air conditioning, electronics. Um, I actually disagree with the Buddha, and I say attachment's a good thing. I love having my family and everything. So, you know, I don't care what these ancients say, um, frankly. They're wrong in a lot of ways. And um, so that argument kind of falls on its head as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> I don't care if ancients did it. You know, ancients also used to, uh, I don't know, worship Jupiter and stuff. It just kind of makes no sense. But anyway. <clears throat> and then they say, oh, well, you know, uh, fasting is good because it gives your body a chance to they can say whatever they want. For me, it's not right. They can just deal with it. So. All right, I have um, I have an apple in here. I have a, a beet, one half of a beet. Yeah, Bubby. And I have the beetroot. Marky here is gonna help me and I've skinned three carrots. So three carrots, one apple, uh, probably the equivalent of a small beet, and then the beet stem, which as we learned is excellent for the heart. And it has a lot of vitamin K, so it promotes bone growth and helps blood clot. All right, Marky, I'm gonna need your help, bub. Can you help daddy? Can you help daddy? Well, yeah. all right, let's do it. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get prepared. Here. Make some space, man. Make some space, man. All right, Mark. Gotta be supervised when you do this, bub. Let's see if we can get Marky help. Yeah. Yeah. Holy cow! Watch, Daddy. Look. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying, critical thought in anything that you do is the most important thing. Um, fads carry a lot of hype with them. Even some diets. Uh, I'm glad that my wife's finally, she's doing curium, and she just started. She feels better. And it is a cleanse. It helps you get rid of a lot of stuff. That's good, but the way I look at it is that's a very short-term thing, so you should use it just as a kickstart to restructuring and remanaging your life. If you don't manage your diet like you do your bills, you're gonna go into debt. Otherwise you're gonna get fat. You're gonna get unhealthy. You're gonna die. I mean, the bottom line is if you're unhealthy, number for number, pound for pound, you're gonna die uh, quicker than somebody that, or let's just say sooner than somebody who is unhealthy. It's crazy. It's really a life or death matter. So, you have to find an inspiration. 
Mm. Yeah. You have to find inspiration. Here's mine. His name's Mark. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, buddy. Put that in for Daddy? Good. Well, watch it again. Let's just drop it. Ah, oh, good boy. Okay. Watch it again. Alright, good boy. Now, Daddy's gonna press down. And believe it or not, there's a lot of. There's a big old blade in there. There's a big old blade. And it's going meh. Alright, so let's put these greens in. So you know the trick of greens. You put the greens in, because they don't give a lot of yield. I'm going to put something that does give a lot of yield in with them. Like a carrot or an apple. Alright. It's converting it, huh? I might have to set you down there because it's like that meat root. Pop. Hang on, buddy. You got it one second. There you go. Alright, ready? Oh. I still need your help. Okay. You wanna put carrot in? You got that? Can you hold on to that? Okay. Ah, oh, it's slippery. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Let's just rinse it off real quick. It's just a bit slippery. Anyway, that's what made me feel sick. These things are loaded with carbohydrates. There's actually quite a bit of sugar in it too. And that wasn't so much the trouble because I worked out twice that day. <laughs> if you need the energy, it's okay to get have a <laughs> like an insulin boost. But uh, I drank it so quickly. I drank it within five minutes. Everyone that knows me knows that I'm kind of uh, extreme when it comes to eating stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's how it works. You are one smart boy. Mm. All right. So, Marky, let's sample this sucker. You want to try it? What's it for here? I'll use it. Actually, let's use a big one. Use a big one. Now it. And you know what I'll do. Chill it. This is what I do too when I get the juice. On one, 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 two, yeah, make sure you get Two, by the way, you want to clean this juicer like 10 minutes. No longer than 10 minutes after you use it, otherwise it'll rust. I think. Um, so, then what I do is I take this, strain any. Man, I got a little bit of a headache today. No wonder I want to smart. Uh, where's that bowl? This is how I do this. Strain around. Oh, don't be a monkey. There we go. Now we got ourselves nice juice, and Mark is going to help me sample it. Hmm. 
be a little sweeter. Oh yeah, you're getting yours. All right, Mark. Sample. You get more blue. There you go. Oh, it's too easy. Yeah. Pretty good stuff, huh? And the key is not to chug these things, but take our time. <laughs> and I'm going to lose. <clears throat> because when you drink these things, you have to remember, yes, it's natural material. But it's also concentrated. Anything concentrated is unnatural. <laughs> so, all right, that's our juice for the day. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye, Mark.